Hello there. Good evening. We meet again today. Quite busy last couple of weeks doing some household household stuff. So I did not upload any video. But today I will be doing a quick video about my Western Electric 300B tubes. So we can see here there's a two set of of tubes, right? One is with the carton box some of them have a blue white colors some in the brown box like this but basically this is actually the older western electric tubes coming from year between 1938 to 1988 the new one actually with a kind of wood box wooden box this should be coming from the newer generation we call it the reissue started from 1997 to present time so actually if i can share a bit of the western electric history the first trend that b was made around 1938 by western electric i believe they're using for telephone or some kind of telecommunication stuff so they made these tubes up to like uh, 50 years because the the last tubes if i recall correctly uh was made on 1988 so this is basically the first generation tube although the year is 1950 but it can be classified as a very first generation 300B made by Western Electric. While let me put something to hold here. While the second one, or we call it the reissue of Western Electric, started around 97. It was uh, made by West Track Corporation, owned by an entrepreneur called Charles Whitener. So he kind of uh, uh, approached AT&T uh, to get IP, intellectual property and license to build the tubes and equipment with a trademark of Western Electric. So you will be seeing the reissue one since 1997 will be kind of coming with this kind of wooden box. And inside you can have some carton box like this. They will be showing you some data sheet here and some other kind of stuff here. So yeah, and inside of course you will be seeing your tubes. This one coming from year 97, week 52. So this is one of very early reissued tubes from West Tech Corporation. So I think that is more or less the difference between the older carton box from the first generation of Western Electric between 1938 to 1988. And after that, the new one reissue made by West Tech Corporation. They bought all the IP from AT&T and they also, I heard, bought all the tooling, the equipment, including the old employee who worked for West Electric before, also moved to West Tech Corporation. So this is the the reissue, which is up to now. You still can find uh, available online around 1005 for Mesh Fair. Come with a very beautiful wooden box. So after this, let's take a look on the physical things of the tube itself. See what is the difference between the old and reissue. I think because they are using same tooling, same skill, same knowledge, right, from the old Western Electric, we're expecting it should be quite similar. So without further ado, let's go to the next uh, step to observe the physical appearance of the tubes. Without further ado, let's open this one. This is the first reissued tubes, and the other one is the uh, sorry this one the original 1950 tubes 
and the second one actually the reissue tubes coming from year 50. okay let me find the best way to show this different okay hope you can see it I'm trying to adjust the iso a bit okay hope that's good enough Let me adjust the camera a bit, make it easier. Okay, good. So let's see. This is the 300B, year 50, and week 52. You can see here a bit zoom on the tube itself it has carbon plate and you can see the construction is pretty solid it is WA or WE or Western Electric original design. Right, so let me try to move a bit the angle. Okay. And let's start compare with the year 97 the reissue one if we can see here it has very similar construction similar black carbon plate although the spacer slightly different if you can see here on the left side the year 50 is a bit transparent mika spacer and this one is actually a bit white colors. I don't know if it's like a extra coat or they use some other material. But from the construction perspective, these both tubes are exactly the same. You can see here all the filament, the cathode, the plate, the mica spacer, all the support kind of uh, wire, even the arrangement, everything, it is exactly the same. So no surprise that the reissue of the Western Electric WE 300B, actually the exact copy of the old Western Electric, which is that's kind of expected. So we can see a bit on the on the plate here you can see the support the rod is actually a bit exposed in the year 97 here and the old one is kind of bit coated as well right seems like inside the carbon plate See, while the year 97 is kind of exposed, the plate rod support connected to the top mica spacer, this one is kind of bit exposed a bit, while the older one is kind of a bit black color, maybe a bit kind of uh, inside the, the plate structure itself. Quickly moving to the top, again, no brainer we can say this is exactly the same tubes from the location the spacer the mica spacer the filament the cathode the construction is like a 99 percent similar copy of course because it is the reissue and they bought all the ip from the original western electric so this is what we can see between those two tubes. 
from the dimension perspective, I would say they are exactly the same, or the maybe in the fraction of millimeters, I would say maybe the newer one slightly taller, but is really slightly so not so much and the rest i really don't see any different except ah the getter right you can see here the older one it has square getter or the new one they use a round getter here right that's probably the only different the only significant different while the rest are pretty much exact copy okay what i heard as well the newer one like a 2020 something they changed the carbon plate into graphene i don't know if i pronounce it correctly graphene so according to western electric it should give a better durability and i heard they give like five years warranty for the 300b which is kind of amazing i haven't seen anyone offering such five years warranty although i like like my takatsuki from japan which is one of my favorite as well it has like two years warranty but this western electric amazingly gave you like five years of warranty one of it because the the car the, the plate design they said that with the graphene it should give a long lasting kind of a uh, usage so that that's probably one of the new enhancement they put in the new tubes so they're probably not the same anymore with the old western electric trend be so yeah, I guess that's all what I have for today. But before we uh, close the session, maybe I will also bring my Takatsuki tubes to see the comparison, the difference between Takatsuki and the Western Electric. So we will we'll be back soon. Okay, so this is my favorite so far takatsuki so you can see here there's some differences with western electric i would say the plate itself gray colors and the getter is a dual getter round see here two round getter and from the top construction I think they are also different this is the 1997 which is we know uh, the difference between this one and the year 51 we know the difference between this 97 and the 1950 tubes. So that's the difference from the top. Definitely different construction and although we know Takatsuki kind of uh, trying to get the... I'm not quite sure, I heard they're trying to get the, Wii, the Western Electric sound. But from the construction, construction perspective, they are definitely not the same but this is also very nice sounding 300b tubes and also quite expensive so from the size perspective i believe is obviously the takatsuki is smaller a bit not in terms of the the size right but the height actually the w uh western electric is slightly taller But if you see the diameter of the tubes, I believe it's kind of a similar. Yeah. Not so much of different. So it is probably the quick 
overview about this three very excellent great sounding collectible item of 300b so hope you enjoy the video and see you again next time thank you